What's going on guys? George here and today we're back in a garage edition. It's a beautiful day out so I was like we gotta do something. So the roof of this truck as you see it's it's filthy. If you've had it before just didn't keep it clean. But it's so easy to get dirty. Just like one wipe it's, your hands dirty something and it stains you can't clean it. So I'm wanting to redo my headliner. But I don't have the stuff to do it right now because I want to do it some kind of cool crazy way. So I was like, well, how about I just paint this? So today we are going to paint my overhead console. Now I done took it out and it is a pain, but not that big. I mean, it's such a pain I hurt my hand. I'm bleeding. That should be bring good YouTube ready. Anyways, so here's the easiest thing to do when you take this off. Take this right here, which is right here. Now sometimes you'll have like a, in my other truck where I guess it's like more luxury, it has a readout that'll tell you how cold it is and everything outside. And it's bugging on. Um, it'll have the temperature stuff. This truck don't have it. So you take this off, just you can take a screwdriver or something just to make sure you don't nick any of your plastic. Take it off. And so after you do that, uh, in here, and this console is not in good shape. If you had it, did not take good care of it. I mean, you can see it's broke right there. That's what I hate about getting vehicles that somebody's already tried working on. Right here, over here are two tabs. You pull, you push them front, frontwards. When you push them frontwards, it releases the hook. The two hooks go here and here. So after you do that, the console will drop down. Now you might have to push some pressure. I even took a little small flathead screwdriver and put it up in there and helped do it too. Probably how I nicked my hand. So when you do it, it'll drop down some. That back here, it actually slides out. This one's actually broke back here too. I can't believe it. But right there, if somebody's been in here before because you can see and this was actually screwed shut so that don't work so this console is garbage but I don't use a console anyways I just want it to look decent so if you look right here these slide slide over these so that's how you take it out that's how you move your console but we're going to go further with that and I'm going to show you how to paint it we got some primer we got some silver it's the same silver I used my other truck I was going to paint it black but it's like Nowadays, sorry for the wind blow too. Nowadays, black is like getting overplayed because everybody's blacking them out with chrome. I figure I'll do silver because silver, a lot of the newer style cars do like silver and trim and stuff. That's what I want. Silver, but my roof is going to be black, maybe black suede. And I'm going to have a white leather strip coming all the way down to here. Now, I'm trying to figure out how I can get the leather on there. I was going to get like some kind of like foam board kind of dress made out of and cut it and wrap the leather and mount it to this. Might end up doing that. Don't know yet. But I'll be doing a video soon if the weather permits to stay good. Because I'm trying to get the inside truck a little bit feeling like mine. Still got to fix the back window as you see. It haunts me every time I look behind me. But further ado, let's go ahead and paint this sucker. So let's go ahead and clean this and prep it and get ready for some paint. We got our lights taken out. Now I'll clean these up a little bit. So we wiped this down real good now. So now you can uh, tape up this if you want. It has four screws. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take mine out so I don't have to worry about no taping, the electrical will be unhooked, and I don't have to worry about anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and take your screws out. Now, the hooks for this, which this can slide out simple, the hooks come out with the plates. So, there's that. We got our screws, so don't lose your screws or anything. Don't want to lose a screw now. Alright, let's go ahead and let this dry and after that dries we'll uh, put a, maybe one or two more coats. After this dries we'll flip it over and put, we'll do the other side. Alright, this is the worst part because you're putting your paint on and it's like you don't want to mess up. Now we're using metallic silver, it's a Krylon. It has paint primer with it, but I always primer anyways. So it makes the silver pop out. Now this is metallic. It is so metallic, it will actually, you'll see it coming uh, out of the can. I mean, it will be floating in the air. So I advise wearing a mask. And I don't have any, so I advise wearing a mask. <laughs>
so we let it sit for a little bit. It's still a little bit tacky, but not that bad. So we're going to put another coat on. More coats, the better. So that covers real good. Alright, so if everything's dry, we're going to go ahead and take your lights. Remember, back here is where these have to go. So you can put your other door in. Take care of screws that we did not lose. Thought we lost one, that'd be terrible. Make sure it's all good. Don't tighten them over tight because you probably can strip the plastic and you don't want to do that. Alright, your thing's good. Look at that beautifulness. Just beautiful. We got another piece. I don't know if the camera will show how much metallics in this paint, but it's insane on how much it is. It came out really good too. I'm pretty happy about that. I had to look on camera to make sure it was doing good. Alright. So, we need to put our lights back in. Hopefully without scratching. In the right side. What the crap? That goes there. We'll have this one right here. And it'll fit good. Make sure you do that. That'd be terrible. Girl, I'm making a video. And don't forget to put your light bulbs in if you don't have them in. Voila! We can put this back in here. This, oh. or this goes just like this. And that goes in there like that. Like that, and this, goes there, but not put it on yet because we need it on. So, let's go ahead and take it out to the truck. Now, I'm going to fix this real quick so that don't open because I don't have a clip on it, and I don't need it. I don't need that one either or anything, but I don't want it to come out. So, let's go ahead and put a clip on it and take it to the truck. So, we got our piece. It's all painted and beautiful. So... We want to mount this. We want to hook up our lights. It's hard to just one hand, so hopefully you can see this. Alright. Now, these clips there, these clips go there. So, I want to take it. be good. Now we are good. Alright. Your clip should be should be able to push them frontwards or backwards. So they should be in the backwards position. Go ahead and close that. Take this piece. We'll stick it in. That goes in first. Yeah. 
push it frontwards a little bit, make sure it seals, and we are done. That looks really good, actually. So, looks great. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make sure you punch that subscribe button and uh, even give us a thumbs up. And this is George, and I'm out of here.